What up YouTube, this is Supercharged iOS, and this is my full review of the Blue Times BT919 Quad Core Mini PC. Now, this review is going to cover everything from benchmark statistics to download and upload speeds. We're going to see how fast the app downloads. We're also going to check out how well XPMC performs on this device. It came with a special build of XPMC and it really works good. So I can't wait to show you guys that, so stick around. But first, let's take a closer look at the BT919 and its specifications. It's got a Rockchip RK3188 quad-core 1.6 GHz CPU. It's also got a quad-core Mali 400 graphics processor unit. It has 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM and 8 gigs of internal flash storage. And this device has dual Wi-Fi antennas helps with the connectivity as well as the range. It has mirroring functionality so that you can mirror your Android device using this device. It has a specially built version of XBMC that's pre-installed and pre-configured, so we'll definitely be checking that out. First, we're gonna test the BT919's benchmark statistics using Antutu Benchmark X, which is a free application from the Google Play Store. All right, here we go. There's the name of the device, Blue Times BT919. I'll click test here and I'll see you guys as soon as the test is complete. All right, now the test is complete. Here's the results, 16,138. Pretty good score. Let's go over to the results. And here we go. 3332 is the multitask score. 1250 is the runtime score. 2299 CPU, CPU flow point 1608. RAM operation 1785, RAM speed 899, so 2D graphics 1344, and 3D graphics is 2158, so that's not bad, it's pretty good scores. All right, now let's check out how the BT919 scores versus the Samsung Galaxy S3. And you can see the total score is surprisingly close. Our device, the BT919, is 16,138, and the total score of the S3 is 17,956. So very similar as you go on down the list. They actually have the exact same multitask score, 3,332 for both. And as you go on down the list, the runtime is actually higher for the BT919 than the Samsung Galaxy S3. So as you scroll down the list, you can make some other comparisons. Some of them are beat by the BT919 and the S3 wins, of course, on things like 3D graphics. But the 2D graphics, it goes to the BT919. Now we're going to test the download and upload speeds using Speed Test Lite. All right, here's the results of the speed test. And the results are 11.38 megabits per second, but this device is lightning fast. But a test is one thing. Let's go ahead and download the Netflix app and see how fast it actually downloads the app. So I'll go ahead and click accept. And here we go. So it took less than five seconds to totally download. And now it's installing. It's taking just a bit longer to install than it did to download. All right, so it took about 25 seconds to install. It took about six seconds to download. Something else that's really cool about this device is that it has pre-rooted firmware installed on it when you first get it. So you don't have to worry about going and finding the rooted firmware and installing the tool that you can communicate with this device and rooting it yourself. It's a lot of trouble, but you just install this free app Root Checker Basic from the Google Play Store and go ahead and click on Verify Root. And as you can see, congratulations, this device has root access. So that's definitely a plus. This device is rooted right out of the box. So that'll save you a lot of trouble. The BT919 has a very smooth interface. You can flip through pages with no problem. And if you notice in the settings, next to each column, there's little color icons. So I thought that was pretty cool as well as this cool looking blue down at the bottom. So I thought that was pretty neat. Now let's check out gaming on the BT919. So we're gonna use Angry Birds. 
and we're only using Angry Birds to test out the gaming functionalities of the Blue Times BT919 for the review. So this isn't to violate any copyright laws or anything like that. This is just to test out the gaming functionalities of this device. And you can see it works really well. There's no lag or anything like that. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you any other types of games that would require any type of remote control other than the standard mouse or air mouse. So this is just going to have to do it. But you can see that it does work really well. All right, now let's check out how good XBMC works on the BT919. Now, I know a lot of you were sending me messages asking me about this. Well, here we go. Now, I know this is what you've been waiting for. Let's check it out. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is show you the repos that were installed. So I'll go to settings, add-ons, get add-ons, and every one of these repos were here when I got the device. So minus these two right here because they're default XBMC.org repos. But this, the XBMC Hub repo is there, and all the rest of these, so that was really cool. Also, every one of these add-ons were right here, ready to go, so you won't have to waste a lot of time installing add-ons and looking for repos and all that other stuff. This device will be ready to go with XBMC preloaded, so I'll go into the add-on section and show you. All these add-ons were there. And these were already on the home screen. So let's go into the YouTube add-on and check out some of my videos so that you can see how good the playback works. Go ahead and start this one. Now I have it set to where I can choose which quality I want. I'm going to go to 720p, which is the highest I can pick on this device. And if you notice, this player is not the XBMC player. This is the player that's default to the device. The playback is very smooth, as you can see. There's been no delay whatsoever. I'll go ahead and skip forward. And it took a second the second time, but not, not really. I'll go way ahead like this and skip like nothing. So the fact that this particular build of XBMC that comes on this device uses the external player of the device to play back the videos is really good and it does a great job. This device is great for XBMC, so it's definitely a plus and it checks out in every category. It has all the add-ons you'll need to get started. And if this device doesn't have every add-on or repo that you need, just check my videos out and you'll be able to add any repo or add-on that you're looking for. All right, so that concludes my full review of the Blue Times BT919 Quad Core Mini PC. We tested benchmark statistics as well as the download and upload speeds. We also checked out gaming and XBMC performance. This is Supercharged iOS from Extreme Tech Global. I'd like to thank the wonderful people at eBlue Times for sending me the BT919 Quad Core Mini PC for my review. If you're interested in purchasing the BT919, there'll be links in the description just below this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please do me a big favor and click that like button. Also, tell me what you think of this device in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, youtube.com forward slash extreme tech global. And as always, you can find me at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS and twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.